Imagine you are playing on a trampoline or a large stretched sheet of rubber. When you place a heavy ball in the middle, the trampoline sinks down and creates a big dip. This dip is like what happens in space when there is a massive object like a planet or a star. It's not just a space that gets bent, but also time. This is how gravity is explained through Einstein's relativity theory. Now let's explore how this dent or curvature in space-time leads to the slowing down of time near a massive object. Think of space-time as a stretchy fabric or grid. In empty space, this fabric is flat and even. But when a massive object like a star is placed on this fabric, it creates a deep curve or dent, much like the way the trampoline dips under the heavy ball. The dent in the fabric affects not just space but time as well. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, space and time are linked together in what we call space-time. When space-time is curved, it changes how time flows. The deeper the dent, the greater the curvature and more pronounced the effect on time. Let's use an example to make it clearer. Imagine two identical clocks. One is close to a massive planet like in the deep part of the dent and the other is far from it like in the flatter part of the fabric. Because the massive planet curves space-time more near it, time moves more slowly there. So, the clock near the planet takes slower compared to the clock farther away. This effect is known as time dilation. But why it happens? Actually, the deeper curve in space-time near a massive object means that the path through which you move is stretched out. As a result, time appears to pass more slowly in this curved region. Friends, let me tell you that this slowing of time has been tested and confirmed. For instance, astronauts experience time slightly different from people on Earth due to their positions in different gravitational fields. This helps us in understanding how the universe works and how gravity influences our experience of time. Thank you for watching.